So this is a really simple way that we can draw more carnivores to our content, whether that's on Twitter, on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram. And it was something that... Hi beautiful beings, it's Rebecca the Vegan Fixie Warrior and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you're well. If you've not been here before, my channel is all about uplifting other inspiring activists from around the world and sharing their stories with you. I hope that it inspires you to get active. I also do bite-sized videos of ways you can become more active for the animals. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm hoping by the end of it you'll put it into action and you'll tell other vegans about it and share it around because it's so simple and it's so easy to do and it's something we do every day well most of us so those of us on social media whether that be facebook or twitter or instagram the one thing we use is hashtags we hashtag everything my husband rips the shit out of me because he's like do you need any more hashtags than that rebecca but hashtags are great and they draw people in and it's what people are looking for. The anti-vegans are looking for it so they can come on and they can spam our accounts. What I want to happen is, and what we all want to happen, is for our social media content to reach more people. So this is a really simple way that we can draw more carnivores to our content, whether that's on Twitter, on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram. And it was something that was said at a speech at an animal rights march in Bristol a couple of years ago. And I just thought it was brilliant. And I do it all the time. And I know that fellow vegans think I'm mental when I'm doing it, but it works. So when you're hashtagging, say for example, you're putting a post up about pigs and how intelligent they are and how beautiful they are and how the horrible truth of how they are gassed to death. I want you to hashtag under that post, hashtag bacon, hashtag pork, hashtag bacon sarnies, hashtag bacon though, hashtag gammon, hashtag pork chops. Anything like, like that that you can think of, put that as a hashtag. So if you're doing a post about chickens, then hashtag chicken drumsticks, KFC. Anything that's related to chickens that would draw a carnival into that post to have a look at it and they wouldn't think about it. And you can do this with animal testing posts as well. So if you're doing one about animal testing, if you're sharing Ricky Gervais's latest video that he's done, which was fantastic, put hashtags underneath it, hashtag L'Oreal, hashtag Max Factor, you know, hashtag these brands, hashtag beauty hacks, hashtag makeup goals, all of the things that you could think of. I mean, I'm not a beauty queen, so I wouldn't have any idea, but it's a good thing to do, right? And you're gonna drag all these people, they're gonna be searching for Max Factor posts and they'll find your animal testing one and you'll spread the word. Same if you're doing vegan food. Rather than putting just the hashtag vegan food, put in there delicious pork chops or the, how to cook your steak properly. You know, those sort of hashtags. And then it brings people in and they'll be drawn into your food or your beauty products or your animal testing posts. So if you have been inspired and you see an increase in traffic to your post on Instagram or Twitter, please drop a comment below. Let me know, I'd, I'd love to know what's going on. Massive thank you to my Patreons that support me on my Patreon page. If you wanna support me in making more content and you like this video, then check out the Patreon link below in my description. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, share and like this video, and hit the notification bell. I don't want you missing out. I'll see you next time.